Hi everyone, welcome to our channel where we explore the exciting world of programming and technologies. And in today's video, we are going to take a look at function based middleware. And this is part two video of the Django middleware series. So make sure to watch the video fully because this is the first middleware that we are going to create. And you should also subscribe to our channel since there are much more uh, videos coming up in the series. So without any further ado, let's get started. So this is our project as I have already explained in the previous video. If you haven't watched that video, make sure to watch that video first because I have set up the entire project. And now we are going to go to middlewares.py and we are going to start by creating our first middleware function. Function based middleware is very similar to how we create decorator in Python and I have already covered that up. So make sure to watch that video also so that you all don't get confused of what is happening over here. So we are going to start by creating a first middleware and we will call it as set request data. Okay. And this will, this will take in get response. That is one parameter. And after that we will create another function or you can say method inside this function and we will call it as def wrapper. You can call it anything. Both these function names can be anything. Uh, but what we have to do is we have to return the inner function from here and we are going to create the inner function now. And this will take in the inner function will take in the request. Okay. And first what we'll do is we'll try to access the data that we are passing from the API. So from API, what we are going to do is pass in a number and the key for that will be the number. Okay. And we are going to try to access that print it over here. And then I'll show you all what we can do with that or how we can play around with it. So first we are going to access, uh, let's say we'll call it as data. And what we'll do is request dot post dot get, and I'll take in number over here. All right. And what we'll do is uh, print this number. And after this, what we are going to do is we are going to call the get response. Okay. So uh, this will be called as response will be equal to get response. And in this, we are going to pass in the request itself. And finally, we are going to return the response. So this is our first middleware. This is very simple middleware. What we are doing is we have created a function and then we have created another inner function and in that we access the api request and we have printed that and then what we have done is we have continued with the wrapper or like we have continued with the request flow and uh, that is being called over here and then in the end we return the response okay so i'm going to save this and what we'll do is we'll go to settings.py because we have to configure that over here otherwise it won't run and over here we are going to write is demo dot demo is the app name then the file name so it is middlewares middlewares and then in inside the file name what is the function that we are calling so the function or the middleware we are going to call is set request data okay so we are going to use that over here i'm going to put a comma over here and middlewares it is correct okay s is creating problem okay fine that is fine so our middleware uh, configuration is done. Our first function is ready. Let's do one thing. We'll go to Thunder client. And before that, we have to make sure to run our sub uh, server. So let me clear this and I'm going to activate my environment. So uh, uh, source env bin and activate. And then we are going to do is navigate inside the project source and python manage.py run server. If you remember in the previous video, we have a print statement inside uh, the view also. And that is like a request or post only. And over here also we are going to print the same thing. But the only difference is in this we have put, uh, put it as index called. So we are going to take this uh, request that we created last time. This is the URL and we are going to go to body and in form we are going to do is number because that is what it is and we are going to put a number and click on send if you notice we got a success response 200 and this is the exact response that we have put in the view then if you notice on the terminal one is printed that is data from here and then index called this is from view correct and in order to illustrate more on this, what I'm going to do is put few more print statements so that it is clear to y'all how it runs. So I'm going to first of all print over here and 
call it as set request data initial uh, middleware okay so first time every time whenever this is called this will be printed first then we are going to put a print over here as well what i'm going to do is print i'm going to say post and data will be equal to request dot post okay request dot post and i'm going to remove this data because all i want to do is uh, right now print this and once that is done we are going to put another print statement over here and we are going to say start of set request data okay so from here the middleware actually middleware starts from top itself but i'm saying start of this and then end of this right so all we have done over here is puts a print statement first of all we have put it over here then we have printed the entire post data then we have uh, put another print statement just before the request continues and then once a request is uh, like a request finishes its cycle and we have a response in hand then we have put another uh, print statement so let's go to this thunder client and run it again if you notice this middleware this one ran only once because it is called when uh, django is initialized and then what what it is uh, what it has done is whenever request is being called everything that is inside this will be run so if you see post data post data whatever data is passed that is printed then it is said start of set request which is this one line number nine then if we see index called index called is inside the view so that is printed and then finally end of that uh, middleware so that is called this is how the flow of middleware is first of all it will execute whatever you do over here and when you write this statement it will call the next particular view or next middleware and everything the request response cycle will continue and we will have a response in hand and then whatever just before like returning it to the user it will run everything from here so now what we are going to do is like we are going to change this okay so data i want to modify Mm, let's say i want to modify the request okay so what i'll do is request dot post and i'll instead of using number right we want our internal functions or like our view functions to access it as data so i'll call it as data and we'll pass in this data and if you notice over here in index called right uh the query dict consists of number and whatever the value is present and right now what i have done is mm, uh, i have taken the request dot post and overridden it with data and uh, instead of number so we'll save this and we'll run it again so if you take a note of this now uh, this is the first that is line number seven is printed over here then start of uh, start of request data is printed and then what we had done is we had overridden the post request right so if you see in index called it is data and whatever the value is and not like previous time that is previously we had number and this query dict and number and its value like this we can even modify the request uh, or even the response which uh, which is being sent to the view function and to the user so quickly to summarize what we have done we have created a new middleware called as uh, called as set request data then we have created another inner, inner function called as wrapper and then in that we have tried to modify the request post and uh, then we called the get response and we returned the response and over here we return the uh, wrapper so this is how we created our first middleware and of course not to forget the middleware configuration that you must do in middlewares in django dot in django settings dot py so that's it guys for this part two video of django middleware series in this we were able to successfully create our django first custom function based middleware and we were also able to successfully edit uh, the data and activate and like process the data i'm going to make more videos on this series and also i make a programming related videos so make sure to subscribe to our channel like this video and share and see you in the next one